Hey everybody, welcome back to the Flat World. This is episode 43, and uh, yeah, enjoy. So, first thing you'll notice, I'm on peaceful mode, aren't I? Yes, uh, because I have been in creative. I'm about to build something very important. I am about to build a uh, piston elevator coming up here, uh, and I'll show you that in a sec. Uh, second thing you'll notice after you notice I'm on peaceful mode, because the mobs aren't falling, um, I've covered up the chests, and I have two here now. I think what I'm gonna do is um, is make this one for like zombies and creepers, and make this one for skeletons. And basically, uh, this way it's just two chests instead of four, and it doesn't look nearly as hideous. And um, yeah, what we're gonna do is rip out the hoppers that we have. Oh yeah, by the way, I uh, I touched it up a little, put some archways, and. Um, some bushes, and then we have this little step down here, and uh, we're going to be working a lot here this episode, but um, yeah, back to what I was saying, uh, down here, now, now that I have this uh, sort of dirt platform running along, it'll be way easier to work on this, I kind of uh, learned my lesson last time, so I think the plan's going to be, we're going to rip this out and move the hoppers to there uh, below the chests, and then put in uh, two, uh, two item sorters, on this side it'll sort bones and... Um, bones and arrows and on this side it'll sort rotten flesh and gunpowder and then that will just go into a large storage system so um but it'll be a lot easier to work on uh once we have you know like a, a platform here so that's why i'm building out this room right now and uh yeah so i think the floor is going to be uh let's i don't know i might want to do it out of wool or something in fact, I think I'm. I think I will do it out of wool, so I'm a little hesitant to do anything with the floor yet. Um, but we'll figure it out. Uh, the other thing uh, we're gonna do this episode is um, over here. We have this uh, ladder and drop system <laughs> with this stream. This item stream actually was originally meant for the old uh, when there was a big wall here. Um, and the idea was that there would be a bunch of levers and it would deliver you items. With hoppers now, we can we can automate a lot of uh, a lot of plant like farming, um, so it's not really necessary anymore. I think more what I'm gonna have is I'll probably extend this so it's symmetrical to that wall and just have more levers that do things like this controls the the beacons. So like if I want to turn the beacon off, uh, that's not the right switch. This one. If I want to turn the beacon off, there's that one gone, and then this one, as well. Um, but like aside from beacons you know i'll probably extend this room so it's symmetrical because it kind of bugs me right now being off center and then uh i would do something else like uh, along this wall some farming stuff uh from above and then like along this wall something else so y you get the idea but uh enough talking about what i'm going to do um uh in the future uh let's get building immediately <laughs> so yeah, the first thing we're going to do this episode is I'm going to build a uh, piston elevator, and it's going to go up right here. I just need to figure out the spacing real quick, but I think I know which design I've chosen. Um, it's by Ultimate Redstone. It's a 2x6. It's really fast, and it's really cheap, and I tested it, and it works in creative mode. And, uh, yeah, so I think I'm going to use that design. If it ever uh, stops working, like in one of the updates... You know, that's fine. I, I just rip it out and rebuild another one. Get back all the redstone anyways. So it's not a huge deal if it doesn't work perfectly. Oh, we just killed a couple spiders there. Nice spider farm going here. <laughs> um, but yeah, if it doesn't work perfectly, that's that's fine. Uh, so I'm just trying to envision how this whole place is going to work out. For a long time, it's been kind of the gray area of this world, the, the, the part that I didn't really know how it was going to work out. Uh, and I'm starting to get an idea uh, a, a bit of a hallway here, um, you know, we're, we're gonna have to play it by ear, of course, but there's gonna be a big room there, uh, right beneath there, and, uh, we're gonna mirror this, this circle so that you can drop straight down from up there. So, uh, let's get building that piston elevator, shall we?
guys so I need to go to bed now because it is a school night and I need I still have stuff to do but it's finished and uh, yeah there she is in all her glory and yeah what do you say we take a ride this thing is amazing <laughs> just walk up get on press the button oh man oh it's so nice Fuck you, guy. Oh my god. Sorry for swearing, as always. But wow, what a jerk. <laughs> he could have just wrecked that thing. I would have been so mad. Ugh. Alright, sorry for swearing, but, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't like to censor it. In my opinion, that's even more lame than swearing in the first place. So, uh, but yeah, I think I, I was unpeaceful most of the time just because... Uh, I was hopping back and forth between creative and also because uh, sometimes when I'm short for time I play on creative mode. It's more fun to play on hard mode generally because stuff like that happens and it's it's funny. But like when, you, when you're when uh, you tight for time. Oh, he took out part of the ceiling, that jerk. Um, yeah, like I'm saying, uh, when you're tight for time sometimes it's best to just switch it on peaceful. So, uh, you know, it, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Um... But yeah, it's, it's not like it's taking away much of the challenge or anything. Just, uh, again, like I said, saving time. What did I just throw? I tried to throw the rotten flesh. I don't know what I did throw. Maybe not anything. Okay. But um, I just, I'm not going to end the episode, obviously, because it just started, I think. Um, <laughs> but I will, uh, will end this. I will cut it short here because I'm going to go to bed now. So uh, I'll see you in just a sec. Um, probably a day or two later, though. Oh, come on. All right, one, one more time. You gotta do it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so sick. Uh, no more creepers. All right, be right back. Mm, uh, hello, everybody. I just woke up. Mm. <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like almost a week later from the rest of this video, I think, and, um, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna go, go to it here, uh, oh, so, I'm sorry, um, yeah, I just, I just woke up, <laughs> so, yeah, it is a bit later from the rest of the video, uh, I just, actually, um, the last episode of Flat World, um, episode 42, I believe, was recorded the same day as the, uh, majority of this episode up until this point, um, because I just got on a roll and I didn't want to stop recording, um, and then I, I started, you know, the week started and I did a lot of, uh, did a lot of Feed the Beast, so, oh god, what have I done? Yep, this is not right. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Um, right now what we're doing is basically um, copying this thing, but up there, so that there will be a way to drop down into here, uh, because this is sort of our quick drop. So, um, 
yeah, that's that's basically all there is to it. Uh, stupid bat. Yeah, so th this this piston elevator, it works most of the time. It, it either works 100% or it fails 100%. And I, th I think it's like directly related to how much is going on on my computer. Um, because if my computer has like a lot of processes going or like a lot of programs open, it won't work. Um, which is actually pretty interesting. But uh, as long as my computer is not doing much, it'll work fine. So that's... Oh god, why did... I was holding shift. So that's kind of interesting, I guess. That's, uh... But it's really nice. I might build a different design, possibly. Uh... If the lag thing becomes a problem, but... Oh, no, 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 oh! Ah, oh, I was at the very top. I think I moved too early. Alright, let's try again. Good thing I'm wearing feather-falling boots. Um, also those two holes there are so I can put water to, um, have, like, a quick drop. Because I want to be able to, like, come up here, and then just walk across, fall down, and land in water, if I need to. So, yeah. Uh, let's try and build these stairs. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three... I think it's like this. Maybe. Or am I just doing the same thing I just did? I might be. Let's check it. Is that good? Um, actually, yeah, that, that does look good. Okay. So, <clears throat> I think I'm doing it right now. Congratulations to me. Um, speaking of graduations, which kind of sounds like graduation, um, soon school will be over for me. I'm not graduating, but, uh, graduating junior class, so I'll be a senior next year. So, uh, yeah, cool. Cool story, bro. <laughs> but I'll have, uh, more time to do stuff in the summer, so that'll be good. And, uh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Well, we needed more uh, stairs anyways, even though there are crafting tables up there. Oh, but we don't have many bricks, do we? So it, it was a good thing in the end, right? Tell ourselves that. And we can make eight more stairs. No, we can't. Almost. Let's see. Yeah, we only need a couple more. And then I might end this episode. I don't know how long it is at all. I have literally no idea. Um, I'm sure to have a lot of stone. Might as well just boom. And then we can make eight more. There we go. That should be plenty. And let's ride our beautiful elevator once more. Ah, oh, I love this thing. I can't wait to decorate it and deck it out and uh, do stuff with it. I think I'm going to keep it, and maybe if we're not happy with it, we can add another piston elevator on the other side or something like that. But uh, it, it does work really well, and it's so fast. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we are on the ball today. Also, um, someone last episode said build a water elevator. Um, just so you know, boom, there it is. It's for... Uh, it's for lifting cows and other animals if I ever need to. Because it's, it's uh, mob compatible. And uh, the alternating water with the alternating signs make sure you never drown. There are gaps so you could fall out really easily. Um, so that's not the best for mobs. But I don't know. I kind of I kind of like it that way. For some reason. <laughs> um, sorry for that little sniffle there. That was kind of disgusting. But yeah, this place is finally coming together, and I just need to do a little interior designing over here. Um, and it's all going to be based around this uh, thing here, this little square, uh, circle shape, kind of like it is down there. And uh, that way we can always have a drop down uh, very quickly. It's very easy to go down in Minecraft, very uh, difficult to go up most of the time so 
but I think we're doing a good job. I think we need another this. Yeah. No. <laughs> Damn you. Um. Right. Righto. Think like this maybe. And like that. And one more. Hopefully these will connect up. Yeah. Okay, so I think that's done. And now we've got our perfect shape. And we can grab that stair we missed. I put that thing in the middle because you're supposed to like land on that. Uh, so that you don't have to swim up real slow. Like if you just land on... <laughs> that was a bad example. But if you just land on the center pillar, you don't have to make that really slow ride up. Just boom. And then swim out. Um, because we don't want to have to swim up and down all the time. Be kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, this thing is really, really fast. It kind of just shuffles you up there. I think my sound may be off. Yeah, that's a thing. Um, but what do you do? Okay, so, yeah, the, the majority of this room is going to be based around here. Um, you see where those chests are? That's where the hoppers now need to go. And there's only going to be two, and there's going to be some item sorting happening now. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that to myself, but I am. That's that's just the fact of the matter. So, um, I'll probably work on that off-camera, because I've had enough of doing item sorting on-camera <laughs> on Red Cubed. So if you want to see some of that, go to Red Cube. But if not, then you're a good person with a good soul. Um, so I think I'm going to end the episode here, though, because I'm obviously, like, in no shape to record. Listen to me right now. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed the episode, because uh, we actually did get quite a bit done. Um, actually, I didn't. I forgot to do the tree farm. I have no idea how long this episode is, to be honest. I have literally no idea. The tree farm is going to go... This hallway is going to extend to the end here. So... Um, I guess we can work for a little bit longer. We're not going to end it quite yet. We'll go for another couple minutes. Because, uh, want to get that tree farm at least planned out. So I'm going to grab a bunch of stone here to continue the hallway. Um, we'll grab three stacks. Stacks on stacks on stacks. And up we go. I put those fences there to sort of align me. I'm not sure how well that works well enough it, it, it appears um, so yeah this hallway is gonna come down here all the way to the end of the circle and on either side I'm hoping to have rooms but uh, also a tree farm with like doors in between I don't know I, in between the trees you'll see in just a moment. Boom, boom, boom. Um, so yeah, but as I was saying, the, the year is really winding down now. Uh, I only have two finals, but I, I have two final projects that I need to do, but they're not too bad. Um, I still haven't started them, though. As you may have guessed. Uh, there we go. Alright, so the tree farm, I kind of want... Let's see, how much room do we have? One, two, three, four, five. I think you can, the, the lowest you can do it is like seven. Um, so we need to go down two, I guess. So I kind of want to have like stairs here. One, two, three. On either side. And then just a drop to the tree farm. So that the tops of the trees will kind of like line this place. Um, and the top, the trees go like this and then out three, I think. So if we have the tree trunks like here, um, that could work. So, um, I'm pro thinker. Let's see. I don't know if there's anything important down there that I don't want to drop water on. I guess that redstone there could be something. Um, uh, 
Yeah, maybe I'll do a little pillaring off camera real quick. Alright, I made some platforms. Let's just figure this out once more. Um, we want the blocks to go here, and then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I think if we put the blocks here, uh, that would be a good space to put the trees. So, um, let's try that. So, that it's obviously going to be dirt because of the trees. Um, we can just test it out real quick with bone meal and such. Uh, so, yeah. And then we'll have glowstone behind the trees. Um, and then stairs lining the front. So... Let's let's try this out. Uh, let me craft some things. Where are my crafting benches? Up here. Okay, so we'll have stairs lining the front. And then lots of these. And then we'll have glowstone too. Uh, but that's downstairs, so we'll grab that in a bit. So we'll just leave spaces for glowstone for now. And here's what it's going to look like. We'll have stairs on the front. Oh, no. Not like that. Like this. Stairs on the front of the dirt. Where the trees are going to go. Um, and then the trees, obviously. Then we'll have a row of these babies. Like that. Um, like that, and then we will alternate, because we're going to have like that, we will alternate glowstone here, uh, in the back, in fact we might actually just have a, a row of glowstone, and then we'll line this with the half slabs like this, um, wrap the corner like that, okay, so, yeah, then the, this will be filled in with glowstone, I guess. And... I think that'll work pretty well. Um, yeah. So let me grab the glowstone and the saplings, and we can try this out. Alright. <clears throat> we got all of our ingredients and <laughs> to make trees. And so let's, uh, let's try this thing out. If I could get through these fences. There we go. There we go. Okay. Boom shakalaka. Up we go. And we are here. So, first of all, we need to start placing glowstone everywhere. Um, I edited this a little bit just to make sense. We put some archways here. And, um, yeah, so glowstone's just going to line the back of this thing. Like this. We're not going to bother putting in leaves because there's always going to be leaves around here anyways. And we're just going to, like, kill them. Um... And, yeah, now we just put trees like so. Tree saplings. So, first of all, let's see how the middle ones come out, uh, like, height-wise. Uh, that's actually pretty good, because it forms, like, a leaf wall in this hallway, which is actually what I was going for. Um, because I think I might have, like, a maintenance store here, because uh, we, we have these lights here, and... Um, It'd just be nice to have a maintenance place. So, yeah, we can have these uh, trees form like a wall here. And the ceiling is low enough that they're never going to grow big. Let's just see how the end ones come out. Okay, that one's a weird tree. Because uh, it didn't want to grow. So, it, it came out in a pretty weird shape. Let's try the other end one. Uh, it really doesn't want to grow that one. So, we might have a little bit of a buffer. Um, so we can kill kill this guy. I'm sure that guy will come out okay. Because it has uh, two blocks here, just like this has two blocks there. Um, and this one doesn't have two blocks here either. So, that's why that one came out funky. So we just need two blocks on each side. Uh, is the basic gist of it. So we can kill these trees. And, yeah, it's not like a, a hugely functional farm, but they're always going to be growing. And so we'll just have a, a good supply of wood always ready. We can just replant them whenever we want. 
Um, and hopefully that'll be good. Uh, we, we can expand it too and have other tree farms as well, but I just want... This is like half for decoration, half for function, so uh, it works out that way. So let's uh, get rid of some of these just because they're in the way. Like that. There we go. And, uh, yeah, the saplings, a lot of the saplings are going to fall over the edge for now, but uh, that won't be the case. We're just going to put in a floor very soon. And it will probably be wood here. Um, something, uh, it would probably be one level lower, so something like this. Something like that. Uh, will probably be the level of the wood here. In fact, let's just go like this and continue this down here just so the saplings that are grown right now won't all fall off and then we can replant real quick. Um, so yeah, uh, we're probably gonna, like I said, have more tree farms but for now that works and we can just go like that. Okay, so this is pretty cool. I, I actually really like the way this is coming out. So, yeah, again, we need a slight buffer here. So what we're going to do is probably just um, take this out, put this here, and then have the, the stair here, like that. And then, since that's a repeat, we'll probably do something like a wraparound. Or maybe like this. And then just have uh, um, like I guess just continue like this maybe. Oh, but that's extending the wall out. We don't really want that, do we? I guess we'll just go like like this. That looks fine, I guess. Yeah, that w that works. And on the other side, we will uh, cut out this one, put it like that, and hmm, I guess that's fine on this side to just do that. Uh, it does look kind of weird, but I don't really know any way around it. We could. I guess that's fine. It just looks a little bit weird, but I think it, I think it looks okay. Yeah, I think I'm just being a little picky. So, uh, looks like one of the saplings already grew on its own. So that's that's cool. That we know it's working. <laughs> and the glowstone will definitely encourage growth uh, a lot. So, yeah, this came out pretty well. I'll copy the uh, the same thing on the other side, of course. Um, but yeah, that's all we're going to do for today, so I hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with the way this top level is coming out, so uh, I'm very inspired by it as well. It's fun to build new things, so I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. If you are, please leave a like because it helps me out, and uh, yeah, I hope you all have a great life. See you next time.